Matt, for fuck's sake, go to the tree. Let's go. Hey, okay, you guys, I'm just trying to stand and make my move. All right, here I go to the tree. Wrong, and this is where they used to be. I do like Sir Veronica's like adult form. Looks just like in the intro. So beautiful and so. Fr Shh, can you two be quiet? I want to hear what happened, really happened to the luminary. Because did Colosmos really get killed by him? Mm. Well, it would be nice, guys, but. <laughs> He only came along with Earthwind just for the Dark One's power. It's like almost like Hal and Megamind being like, Being a hero is for losers. It's work, 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 24-7. And for what? I only took the game so I can get the girl. Turns out Roxanne doesn't want anything to do with him. Roxanne Richie. Yeah, Roxanne Richie. Like that. Jeez. Yeah. And of course, the so you got to see her is more kind. He's atoning for what he's said. He's done. Lo, death burn because black within we'll find the next video that he won't. So this you want. is the might of the dark one. And with that, we'll see you next time. Ciao. Of all the Lord down. Oh. Betrayed by the very man he trusted most. That's how the luminary of legend died? The poor thing. The tree is still glowing, I see. I rather think it might have more to show you. No weapon save the Sword of Light may end the Dark One's life. Cannot be used. No luminary now. Only he may wield. Thus cannot kill, but can imprison. Serenica. Lend me thy powers, that I might bind him and banish him forever! <sighs> Saranica, what doth the future hold for thee? The Sword of Light belongeth with the World Tree. I mean to bear it thence. Thereafter, I shall venture forth upon a quest. 
I shall seek him out. I shall find him. Erdwin, my love, I will be reunited with thee. I swear it. That's so sad. So Erdwin's lantern was no star, nor was it the Luminary's final resting place. You've done as you were meant to do, girls. You've given the Luminary the guidance he needed. We saw it too. We saw what happened to Serenica. What she became. She's still there, you know. Up in that tower. And she still holds the key to defeating the Dark One. How come you know about all this stuff, anyhow? Didn't it all happen centuries ago? How indeed, my inquisitive young friend. Perhaps I had better show you. Mm. Huh? <gasps> what? You? Yes, me, Morkant, Erdwin's erstwhile companion. There was a voice, you see, a voice inside my head. As Erdwin raised his sword to smite the Dark One, it spoke to me. Strike him down, it said. Kill him, and I will grant you power beyond your wildest dreams. I tried to close my heart to those intoxicating words, but before I knew what was happening, 
my friend lay at my feet. The Dark One's power filled me, corrupted me, poisoned my mind. I became Mordigan. But even then, a part of me held out against the darkness. In time, it took on its own form, and that is who stands before you now. Now Mordigan is defeated, and so I too must fade. But I have one last prophecy for you before I go. The Timekeeper awaits you, Luminary, in a place north of the World Tree. The power of the Watchers will take you there. Now, go and give the Dark One our hiding, and bring this story to an end at last. There he goes. I guess we'd better get moving, huh? Sounds like we need to go see the Watchers. <laughs>